Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. Today I wanted to cover how to create uh, files on your PC that you can put onto your SD card and plug into your ICOM IC7300 and then be able to uh, transmit those uh, the audio that's contained in those files uh, using the Voice TX feature. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is uh, create a Voice TX file recording on your IC7300. That'll give us a file that we can then take and use as a container for where, uh, whatever audio that we're wanting to uh, put into the file. So uh, I have uh, previously covered that in a video and I'll link that down below. Uh, once you have that file created, and uh, I have that file on an SD card that I'm about to plug into my laptop. All right, so what we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and open the SD card folder. Uh, inside that you'll see an IC7300 folder, drill down into that, then drill down into the Voice TX folder, and you'll see a Voice TX file here. We can go ahead and copy that and uh, we're going to put it in, uh, oh, let's see here, under Documents in the ICOM7300 Voice TX Files folder. I already have a copy of it in there, but I'll go ahead and paste this one. All right. Uh, so then what you'll need after that uh, for what we're doing in particular is uh, we're trying to set up a two-tone file that we can transmit uh, to allow us to do a linearity test on the IC7300. Uh, what I have found is uh, you can download a WAV file uh, from this page. It's uh, ON6ZQ and uh, here is the address to it. I'll put a link to that down below or you could just do a Google search for ON6ZQ two-tone test and it'll get you to this page. So the file that we're going to download uh, has two distinct uh, non-fundamentally related uh, audio frequencies inside of it that are both uh, going on at the same time, 700 hertz and 1900 hertz. Um, now a linearity test, uh, a two-tone test, allows you to, uh, to check your linearity, and linearity is important, uh, one, because it impacts your single sideband fidelity, and then also uh, it controls the amount of uh, splatter that you have. And uh, if you have splatter, then that causes a uh, adjacent co-channel interference. Uh, basically, uh, you're transmitting on the frequency you want to transmit on, but you're transmitting on a lot of other frequencies as well. Um, like this page says, specialized hardware can be built or purchased to generate the signal. Uh, however, in our case, uh, since we can use audio files on the IC7300, uh, we can just... Uh, create a file that works. Now the file that you can download here is not compatible with the IC7300. If you put it into the Voice TX folder and name it uh, Voice TX 1 through 8, uh, whichever number you choose, then uh, you won't be able to uh, transmit any of your Voice TX files. So uh, you can download this file. I've already downloaded it and I have it here, two-tone test. What I'm going to do is go to Audacity and I'm going to open, uh, let's see here, there we go. I'm going to open the Voice TX1 file that we created on the ICOM7300. It's asking uh, the what import method we want to use, whether we want to make a copy or read the files directly. Uh, I prefer the default, which is make a copy of the file. Uh, it's safer that way. In case you save the file, you won't overwrite your original. So, uh, we have the file open here, and you can tell that it's a mono 8000 hertz 32-bit float file, and you can see the audio that's inside of it. If I go ahead and play that, uh, you'll hear that it's just a, uh, a CQ that I recorded. CQ, 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 KD5, TKR calling CQ and standing by. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll open our two-tone test file by going to File and Open. And uh, when I double click this, it'll open a separate instance of Audacity. So we'll have uh, both files open at the same time. And we'll have to answer the same question here. So as you can see, 
this is just uh, 30 seconds of uh, the two-tone audio. Now this file is a mono 22,500 hertz 32-bit float, and uh, the IC7300 is just not going to uh, to deal with that property properly. So what I'll do is I'll click here in the file, and then I'm going to hit Control A to select all of the data in the file, and next I'll hit Control C to copy everything in the file. We'll go to the other instance, and I'll click in the file. I'll select Control A, and then Control V, and that has placed all of that data inside of this file. Now, at this point, we can go to File, and then Export Audio. And what we need to do at this point is, one, we need to give it a name. Uh, I usually use uh, Voice TX8, but you can use whichever slot you have available. There are eight slots, so just uh, use the number of the slot that you have available. And uh, in some cases, uh, Audacity is going to default to WAVE Microsoft 32-bit float PCM, and that's going to generate a file that's not compatible. Uh, what we want to do is make sure we're on WAVE Microsoft signed 16-bit PCM. So, ah, we'll have to save this uh, somewhere else. Hold on just a second. We're going to go to our Documents folder. I know we have permissions there, and we should be able to save here. Now, when you get the screen uh, to edit your metadata, what the ICOM 7300 does is uh, for software, it writes IC7300 version and whatever firmware version you're using. I'm using 1.14. Uh, it's also going to put the date that you created the file and for the track title, the uh, name that you have on the button is going to be uh, right here at the very end. Now, uh, voice TX1, I had set the name of it as CQ. If we put something like two-tone, here, then uh, when we plug the card in and go to the voice gear menu, this uh, file will show up with the name two-tone on the button. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here. Alright, so I'm going to close Audacity. We don't need to save our file. It's just the project file. So if we don't save it, it's not a big deal. So we have a voice TX8 file here. We can copy that. Go to our uh, SD card, drill down into the Voice TX folder, and paste. All right. The uh, other thing to be aware of, uh, besides what I told you when we were exporting the audio, is that this needs to be a 128 kilobit file, uh, in the sense of the uh, the bit rate of the audio. Uh, if you're faster, if you have more bit rate or slower bit rate, then uh, it's not going to work with the IC7300. The IC7300 is very particular about the uh, what kind of file it wants. So, I'm going to go ahead at this point and uh, I can safely remove this card. And then I can plug it into my ICOM IC7300 and uh, I'll be able to play the file. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and stop recording here, and then uh, I'll record some video of uh, what I do after I plug it into the radio to, uh, to give you a demo of that, and we'll go from there. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So I have my SD card with the uh, two-tone file on it. I'm going to go ahead and plug that into the IC7300. And you can see that the card has been recognized. The SD logo is now lit. So, let me see if I can find a position that has a little less glare here. There we go. So, if we go to Menu, and then Voice, uh, you'll see that in position 1, we have my CQ file that we used as the basis. And in T8, we have the two-tone file. So, what I can do is, uh, let me turn up the audio here. I can press the uh, T8 button, and we're now transmitting our two-tone signal. So, what that allows us to do, and this will be in uh, the f a future video, probably my next video. I have a uh, Kenwood station monitor connected uh, to my SB200, 
and uh, when I transmit the two-tone file, we'll be able to see the linearity of the transmitter. So uh, if I go ahead and press this now, you can now see the double uh, sinusoidal pattern. And uh, you can look at that and see whether you're uh, flat topping or you ha don't have enough uh, bias gain or uh, if you have something misadjusted. And uh, it's a good way to check your linearity. You want to make sure that you're uh, operating linear uh, so that you're not uh, splattering. And uh, being linear also uh, increases the fidelity of your transmitted signal. So uh, I'll be doing that uh, pretty soon. And uh, if you have any questions or comments about this video, put them down below. I hope that uh, you found this video informative, and I also hope that you have a nice day.